Morning. Yesterday, as markets in the US reopened after Independence Day, we saw some pretty sharp moves take place. The S&P, Nasdaq and Dow that were all on an incessant ramp up snapped their winning streak and fell. And then the 10-year yield surprisingly was also down on the session, falling to 1.35%. Typically, you'd expect the opposite. And then the dollar somehow gained, while gold also gained and actually made a, a run for the 1,800 mark. Almost as if crypto wanted to balance out the volatility, Bitcoin stayed relatively tame, gaining just 1.34% currently at 34,100. Now I'm still paying close attention to the Bitcoin dominance index. It continues to fall further. Conceptually, that's bullish. It means investors are edging out of Bitcoin's safety and exploring alts further. With regards to alt, it seems that yesterday investors were looking at Chainlink up an almost 9%, Terra gaining about 5% on the session, and then also Ethereum and Polkadot with 4% gains. And then Aave and Matic also showed some outperformance relative to Bitcoin, uh, gaining 2% on the day. Now looking at on-chain data, it was great to spot this crypto quant chart showing the exchange outflows and especially that we've just hit a year high. So outflows suggest that people are withdrawing to private wallets, presumably to huddle, and that's supportive of less supply of coins and therefore less selling pressure. So I'll let you put two and two together. Another chart from Glassnode shows the continuous growing holdings of the purpose Bitcoin ETF. Now this might be in part a function of people moving from one uh, crypto linked product to this one, um, but at least to some extent a continuous interest and bullishness in the asset class overall. Now on a less supportive side, um, it was interesting to see that Binance just announced it will suspend Euro payments. That's not good for users and of course hints at issues or concerns with EU banking partners. Partners. So it looks like regulators just aren't done pushing Binance or crypto uh, for now. In China, news came that Beijing will not provide venues, commercial displays or advertising for crypto businesses. So again, another difficult news for the space uh, and definitely for Chinese investors. Now, to end on a positive note, a note though, it was great to hear Marshall Waste, so an investor fund with about 55 billion in AUM looking to invest in the crypto and blockchain sector. So that's potentially a lot of capital flowing in. That's it for me today. I wish you a great day and a great trading day. If you haven't done so yet, please like, please subscribe. It helps with the visibility, but also means you'll be updated when new videos come out.